Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to dive into June favorites. June has been a big month of makeup. So I've got makeup, of course, I've got a touch of skincare that I want to share with you, as well as some new jewelry that I'm obsessed with. And of course, we've got fragrance and a little bit of fashion this month. So if you are interested in seeing my June favorites, let's go ahead and dive in. We're a little lip heavy this month because we had a launch from Chanel and they launched some new Rouge Cocoa Flash lipsticks. As many of you know, this is one of my favorite formulas and they are just easy to slick on. They're a sheer kind of lipstick. It's gonna have that glossy kind of finish. And the two standouts are 158 in dawn that is a really pretty warm toned nude this is just a gorgeous nude i have been wearing this non-stop on my lips i love to wear this one with a smokier eye and then use this as my nude kind of lipstick it is just beautiful and again if you already own boy this is going to be kind of a little bit more of that nude but a little warmer in undertoned versus that pinky beige this is going to be more of a true warm nude this is the shade dawn so just love this 158 and i've worn it in several of my videos and then we've got this gorgeous poppy color and that's in flame this is the shade flame so two standout shades are Dawn and Flame. And we have two more lipsticks. This is from Dior. And I had a subscriber, Gypsy Snickerdoodle, who told me that this is her ride or die kind of lipstick from Dior. And she was like, if you love Rouge Coco Flash, you're gonna need to try the Dior version. So basically these are very similar lipsticks. This is the Dior version of the Rouge Coco Flash or vice versa. Very nice sheer kind of lipsticks with very beautiful colors. So Dior makes some really beautiful colors. And I picked up two of them and her favorite is shade 612. And so I went and picked that up and she's right. I absolutely love this color, you guys. It's like a perfect rosewood tone. It looks a little darker in the tube, but as you can see, these are sheer kind of lipsticks. So pretty. And then I picked it up in this pretty peachy tone. And this one is in 439 Dior Moon. And then this is Dior Moon. It's just a truly gorgeous peach light tone. These are fantastic. And again, this Dior Moon looks fantastic with a more smoky eye, very simple kind of nude lip. And then the other one is going with a little bit more of a simple eye and going with a little deeper toned lipstick. So Gypsy Snickerdoodle wanted to give you a shout out because I do love these and I plan on picking up some more shades. Just absolutely gorgeous lipsticks. Having kind of fun with Dior makeup lately too. So then we've got a little bit more Chanel and they just launched the Lestilo Use, which are my longtime favorite eye liners, and they just came out with new shades and they are slightly reformulated. So I was a fan of the previous formula. I never had any issues with those liners ever. They're like my go-to eyeliner. These are waterproof. They kind of stay in place all day long. I find them fantastic for more mature eyes, but they said that they reformulated them to make them a little bit easier to glide on and to be less breakable, which I guess some people are having issues with. I never had that issue, but I'm glad that they but I'm glad that they listen to their customers and that they are fixing the issues. So I picked them up in four of the new shades. 
the gray graphite, the Ver Emma Road, Prune Intense, and Khaki Metal. And you guys, I love all four of them. The two that really stand out for me, I'm in love with this Vert Emma Rose. It is a gorgeous sort of muted emerald color. It just pops your eyes and it's just such a fun and beautiful color. So if you're gonna just get one eyeliner, I would definitely recommend this fun color. The other one that I fell in love with was the Gris Graphite, which is so pretty and unique. I don't really have anything like this in my collection. I usually use slate, like I love gray tones on my eyes. And this gray is a really pretty, it does have a little bit of a metallic finish, but it just looks gorgeous on the eyes. I've used this in a video before, as well as the Vare Emma Road. I also love the Prune Intense. And I have a video coming up with the Khaki Metal, but I have personally used it. And so I'm so happy with all four of these. I'm definitely happy to say that the formula to me is just as good as the previous formula. Definitely a win from Chanel this past month. Now I did pick up one of the new quads from Chanel. This is quad number 378. And I have to tell you, I am getting a lot of wear out of this. So I'm wearing it today. I really love those kind of purple slash gray tones. And that is exactly what this quad has in it. And it also looks beautiful, you guys, with just this all over shade right here with Prune Intense. So like for a simple eye look, I really like to take this one, which actually looks sort of like a sandy color in the pan, but it actually has a little bit of a kind of unique and pretty mauve tone to it. So it's kind of a neat taupey mauve. And then when you top it with the Prune Intense Eyeliner. It makes a really pretty simple kind of wash of color on the eye with a little pop of color from that prune. So definitely have been having fun using this eye quad. Again, that's what I'm wearing today. You can kind of dress it up or kind of mellow it out for a more day-to-day -day look. But I'm actually glad I picked up this quad and I'm getting a lot of use out of it. Okay, Pat McGrath had launched her blushes. I picked up three of them and I really love all three, but the one that I've been wearing the most is this Nude Venus. And it is really a beautiful neutral blush. And here is the tone right here. If you're looking for a basic everyday kind of blush that's gonna go with any eye look, any lip look, I would definitely recommend Nude Venus. And there is one of them everybody keeps on telling me I need to pick up that's supposed to be sort of a burnt, kind of sunburned look. I'm going to definitely check that out as well because I really love the formula of these blushes. They almost feel a little bit like gel-like. Um, they're not super powdery. They mesh into the skin super pretty. So I kind of felt like they had this unique kind of formula where they felt a little bit creamy going on the skin, almost like you get a cream blush, but you get the longevity of a powder blush. So a beautiful launch from Pat McGrath. I also love Divine Rose, just really super beautiful blushes from Pat McGrath. And I definitely have my eye on a few other ones. I feel like it's been like blush aroma the last few months. Like I do not need any more blushes, but there's so many pretty colors out there that I feel like I have to give them a try. So that is on my long list of goodies to pick up. Okay, next up is my summer uniform. So you guys, I get very excited when I find a deal. And I was talking about this really soft and comfy t-shirt dress. And this is what I found off of Amazon for $18. 
And this is a steal of a deal. The quality of this $18 sundress. This is just a simple t-shirt dress. It is not too form fitting. It is not too loose. It just really is like the perfect little uniform, especially when it's hot and it hits me right above my knee, which is fantastic. It's not too short. It's not too long. It is just like the perfect summer dress. So easy to throw on, run errands, but look a little bit put together. I've just really been enjoying this t-shirt dress and you guys, I've ordered a couple more. This is literally like my uniform. I will just throw it on and pair it with my sandals. These are my Jenny Kane stripe sandals, you guys. I just love these. I wear them every single day. These are the taupe version and then I have the black version here. So these are my go-to sandals you guys. They are just so comfortable and they are true to size. So I have them in a size 37 slip right on. So the summer uniform is basically the $18 t-shirt dress, your favorite sandals. I love my Jenny Kane sandals. And then of course we need our sunglasses and I got these Chanel sunglasses here. And you guys, I believe these are last season. So I liked these because they were slightly oversized, but not too big. They're a little bit big. <laughs> um, but I loved the color of these. These are kind of a blonde tortoise shell, but they just launched similar ones to these that I absolutely love. So they're on the website. I will link them below you guys, but they are so amazing. And many of you told me that you picked them up and that you love them. So you need your little sunglasses to protect your eyes. So I've been really enjoying these fun sunglasses. And then then you're going to accessorize with jewelry and I have a new obsession with Jennifer Fisher jewelry. They have been on my radar for a few years. She is known for her lightweight hoops and I have to tell you I'm in love with my little Samira micro huggies but these Jennifer Fisher hoops are worth every single penny because they are hollow inside. They are so lightweight. I feel like I don't have anything on my ears, but I've always loved the look of hoops. I just think they're kind of classic. These ones are the Micro Samira hoops, and this has caused a little bit of an obsession about hoops. I wanted to give them a try, see how they wore on my ears, if they were as as comfortable as everyone says, and they absolutely are. So the ones that I normally wear, and I bought several different pairs of, these are from Madewell, and these are a fantastic dupe for the Jennifer Fisher hoops, but they are a bit heavy, they tarnish pretty quickly, and they're just not as comfortable as the Jennifer Fisher hoops. So if you are in the market for a nice hoop earring that's going to be super lightweight on your ears, but be sort of classic, I think you're going to want to check out Jennifer Fisher. I'm just obsessed with all her jewelry. So I've just been sort of dressing very simply and then putting on a few of Jennifer Fisher necklaces. I love her hoops. I like her bracelets. And the other day I wore this bracelet on camera and I got a lot of questions about it. And this is her essential dual necklace in the small chain. Every time I wear this, you guys, I get questions about this necklace. People want to know where I got it. This is just a really fun kind of statement necklace easy to wear. It's not too heavy. That's what I would tell you. All of her jewelry is designed to be super comfortable. Even like this kind of chunky necklace does not feel heavy by the end of the day. It feels very comfortable and it really does kind of elevate any kind of look. So I'm more of a casual girl and I often just wear this with kind of tank tops, with the t-shirt dress, kind of simple basics. And I just find that this necklace is going to kind of elevate any kind of look. And then these necklaces I wear pretty much every single day. They're just easy kind of gold chains. And these are the Dean dual necklaces. So I'll leave all the information below. And tomorrow's my birthday, July 6th. And I'm going to be the big five three. And I've been getting really nice birthday gifts. And 
I got this bracelet right here from Jennifer Fisher from one of my dear friends. And this one is the extra, extra small essential bracelet. And I just love it, you guys. I love mixing metals. This, this one is actually a Dean bracelet right here, the double Dean. And I think I have a few more pieces coming for my birthday from family members. So I think what I will do is a whole Jennifer Fisher video kind of showing you my kind of staples, what I really recommend, but definitely wanted to mention how lightweight the hoops are. I had posted these on Instagram and gotten some questions as to whether they were actually light, and I'm here to tell you that yes, they are definitely hollow, the most comfortable hoops I've ever worn, to the point where I will definitely be investing in a few different sizes of hoops because they're just so ultimately comfortable fantastic quality and I can't say enough about any of the jewelry that I have from her. So I wanted to mention Jennifer Fisher jewelry. Absolutely love it. Okay, we're going to end with fragrance. I'm going to whip through some of these. I don't want to get into too much detail because I already did a fun video with my son. So one of my favorites from the month of June was having my son in town. I had not seen him in 10 months and we were able to do a fun perfume video together. So if you haven't watched that, I will link it below. Kind of fun to get his take on my perfume. The perfume he loved the most from my top five was the Roja 51. He liked the Essence version, but he, he also loved the perfume version of 51. I was so thrilled because 51 is one of those perfumes that if I had to pick one perfume for life, I think it would be 51. I know you guys, that's a bold statement, but that's how much I love it. This is what I would consider as my signature scent. And I love both versions, the perfume version, as well as the essence version. And for himself, he went with 51. And this one's going to be creamier, a little bit richer, a little bit more buttery. And yes, I love this one because I enjoy just a little bit more of that creamy and buttery nature. But on the day when it's super hot, I often reach for the lighter versions. This is just an elegant floral fragrance. So easy to wear. Definitely has got a powdery touch to it. It is creamy. It is buttery. But to me, it just screams elegance. And it's quickly become my sort of signature scent. I just never get sick of it. When in doubt, I always pull out 51. Then we had a new launch from BDK and that is Velvet Tonka. And you guys, this is a gorgeous gourmand fragrance. I absolutely love it. This launch from BDK really is just a gorgeous gourmand. Definitely has got a little bit of that bitter almond in it. It's got a little bit of sweetness. Like I do kind of think of this as dusted with powdered sugar. It's got a little sweetness. It definitely is powdery. So there almost is this freshness that I'm really enjoying for the summer months when it's hot. But you are someone who enjoys a little bit more of a richer gourmand fragrance. You can wear this in the hot weather. Totally works. And I do have to say the longevity of this Velvet Tonka is fantastic. So on my skin, it literally lasted all day long, and this is just a complete winner from BDK. House of Siage launched the Whispers of Truth Noir. This is a fast favorite. So I already love Whispers of Truth, and then they came out with this smokier version. This is a gorgeous, sultry fragrance. The packaging is clearly stunning. I cannot get over the beauty of this cupcake. It is just amazing, but the juice inside is as stunning as the outside. So I think they did a fantastic job with mirroring the packaging with what you smell inside. This is a more sultry kind of exotic fragrance. And I've been getting questions on how to describe this fragrance. And I was going to say, if you already like the Whispers of Truth or Baccarat 540, this definitely has sort of that kind of vibe. Plus you put together by the fireplace. So that kind of smoky, a little touch of leather in here 
kind of layer that on top. It has a little bit of sweetness in here too. That burnt caramel kind of comes out. You put those together and it makes a very intoxicating, very sultry kind of fragrance. I wear this during the day just as much as I wear it at night, you guys, but I don't kind of wear perfumes in the day and at night. If I feel like wearing it during the day, I do. And this was one that kind of surprised me because my husband really liked this one. He actually asked me what I was wearing. He never does that, you guys. I always force him to smell my... I always force him to smell me and say, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? He asked me what I was wearing and told me that I smelled really good and that he liked it, which was a shocker because he tends to like cleaner, fresher kind of fragrances, kind of like Creed fragrances is what he gravitates towards that he likes on me. And I was kind of surprised he liked this kind of smokier, sultry fragrance. So just a stunner from the House of Siage. So excited about this launch and can't wait to see what's coming. And then the other fragrance that I wanted to give a shout out for hot weather, and that is from Chanel, and it is 1957. This has literally been my hot weather go-to. If you are looking for a fragrance that can cut through the hot heat, I think you're going to love 1957. 57. It is going to be a sparkly kind of clean feeling fragrance. It's not going to be too heavy. It definitely has the Chanel aldehydes in this, but I've just been reaching for this so much. As I mentioned before, we had a heat dome come over us. We had days like up to 115 degrees, which is unheard of here in the Pacific Northwest. It was very hot and we're still having some hot summer weather, even with a little bit more humidity than we're used to. And I am finding that this Chanel 1957 is like the perfect perfume for hot, humid weather. Love this one. Okay, guys, it has been a big, huge month of favorites, and now we're going to be celebrating birthdays galore. My birthday's coming up, but then it's my son's birthday, and then my husband's birthday, and we are going to New York to celebrate. So lots of fun coming up. I'm hoping to do kind of a fun New York haul video. We'll see. You guys let me know if there's any recommendations that I must go to when I'm in New York. And as usual, you guys, I've got some fun new content coming your way. And oh my gosh, you guys, we made it to 20K. I just wanted to say thank Thank you so much for sticking with me, especially through all the learning curves, you guys. I still have so much more to learn. I sometimes laugh. I feel like it's a miracle for me to even be getting up a video. So just thank you so much. I just love the community that we have created here. I just love hearing from you guys, the give and take. I learn from you guys just as much as you do from me. And it's just super fun to share this passion for all things beauty related, but also have a little bit of fun not take things too seriously. And I literally could not have done this without you this past year, guys. It was a really tough year for all of us. And it was just so fun to have that connection with you guys. So thank you so much for sticking with me. I promise to have more fun content coming your way. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.